Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Adrian and today we are doing another My Week in Books. So what I have been reading this week and how I have been enjoying it. Um, let's jump straight into it. This week I did start with a clean slate of books. I just finished two books um, when I last checked in with you and so there are a few new books here that I've not talked about at all yet on the channel. So the first book I picked up was The Black Tongue Thief by um, Chris Buellman. And this is a uh, first person comedic take on fantasy where we are following uh, Kinch, uh, Kincher Shannock, who is a down on his luck thief who owes a big debt to the Takers Guild, that's the Thieves Guild, and he ends up embroiled in a plot of the Thieves Guild, essentially trying to repay his debt. This has been a very fun and enjoyable read. I think if you do pick this book up, you will know whether it's going to vibe with you pretty quickly. Um, there is a very distinctive character voice we get for Kinch, and it didn't necessarily click with me super quickly, but after about five or six chapters, I was like, yeah, okay, I do like this. I do enjoy the way this is written. I enjoy Kinch as a character, and I definitely can see myself um, reading through this book very quickly. I actually got through this book in about four days, which is not bad going at all. And in lots of ways, it gave me um, the band vibes by Nicholas Ames, so Kings of the Wild and um, Bloody Rose. It very much gave me those vibes in terms of it was a comedic take on fantasy. The, the voice we got, the character voice, the narration voice is very um, interesting and humorous and is meant to be so. It can be a little bit vulgar at times, but it's not too bad. I think it starts worse than it is throughout the whole thing. Um, but definitely a very, very enjoyable read. Um, it progressed well from a comedic, light-hearted take on fantasy to actually include some pretty serious um, themes, and it dealt pretty well with them. I definitely really enjoyed it, and I thought the world building was particularly interesting as well. There are goblins on the outskirts that humans have been fighting with, um, have had three wars with in the last lifetime, um, and then much has happened um, as a result of that, including the death of pretty much all the horses that humans own. So um, it's quite an interesting world building tidbit where there is no real horse travel here. Everyone is traveling on foot and has donkeys or mules, you know, beasts of burden, but not horses to ride for fast traveling. And I thought that was an interesting little world building tidbit. All in all, I think Christopher Buellman does a really good job with this. He is well known as a, I think, a mystery or a crime writer, um, but actually this is his first um, fantasy book, and I think it's done very, very well. Um, and if you are looking for that more light-hearted um, take, particularly an interesting authorial voice, definitely give this a go. I gave it four and a half stars, um, so a big fan of this. It didn't quite pack the emotional punch that something, say, like Kings of the Wild did for me, but it definitely has that similarities. I can see why Nicholas Ames gave this a review um, that was five stars on Goodreads, because it very much reminded me of that style of um, book, that style of writing, um, and I did absolutely massively enjoy it. I will definitely be looking for book two and three of this trilogy when they come out. After finishing The Black Tongue Thief, I picked up book two, of the memoirs of Lady Trent, so The Tropic of Serpents. This is a series that I read the first book of, so The Natural History of Dragons. I read that three or four months ago. Um, I did really enjoy it. I gave it three and a half stars, I believe, and I've been meaning to get round to it again um, to pick up the next book in the series, which I think almost universally people agree is better. Um, so far, I'm just under halfway through. I am actually really enjoying it. I still love um, Lady Trent. I feel like her character and her um, character voice is done very well. I like this concept of it being her memoirs we are reading. So we are both present at the time, but in reality we are being told this story from a much later on perspective. And I quite enjoy that concept. I think it's done really well. This is um, yeah, the second book in the series by Marie Brennan, and I think she does a very good job with this. I know that there are a lot of people who are a big fan of Marie Brennan on Booktube nowadays, um, particularly because of her work in The Mask of Mirrors, where she is one of the two authors who wrote that. Um, all in all, I am definitely enjoying it. It is still not blowing my mind to any extent. I know there are a couple of people I speak to who have said this is possibly their favourite series of all time. 
Um, it's definitely not looking like it's going to be there for me, certainly not after book two anyway. Um, but I do enjoy it. I think it is very good and interesting. I like the um, take we get by having this older voice talking about what's happened early in her life when she was slightly more naive, um, maybe not as world weary as well. Um, and I think that's a very nice take on the narration for this book. I do think that I will probably um, finish off this book uh, enjoying it more than I did A Natural History of Dragons. Um, it definitely feels like it's got more to it. Um, we're exploring different parts of the world and I think that's really interesting and particularly looking at culture clashes, which is always fun. Um, so yeah, really enjoying this book so far. Hopefully it will continue to be good, if not even better than it has been so far. Um, I can give this a good four, four and a half stars because it is definitely more enjoyable for me um, than A Natural History of Dragons was, even though that wasn't a bad read by any stretch anyway. And now to move to the book that you've probably expected me to be reading, um, and this is an echo of what's to come. Um, this is book two of the Lycanius trilogy by James Islington. I have picked it up, I have read the prologue, and I have not read anything else. Um, that's partly just because of the way my week has been. I've done a lot of my book consumption on audio this week um, and very little that actually sitting down and reading. So hopefully I will jump properly back into this again next week when I have a little bit more time, I hope. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with what I read that made me put it down. It is just life circumstances. So not too much to report on book two of the Lycanius trilogy except the fact that I am getting into it and hopefully I will get going a bit quicker with it and will continue to enjoy this series as it is. So there you go, a nice quick update on what I've been reading this week. I hope that's been interesting to you. Do keep an eye out on the channel for the Black Tongue Thief review that should be coming in the next couple of weeks if I get to it. Um, if you enjoyed this content, do click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys again soon.